Are you guys looking for more storage space on your Razer Pro XP? Well, Super ATV's got the fix with our cargo system for the Pro XP, and today we're gonna show you how to get it installed. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and get all of your mounts out of your hardware kit or out of your packaging. You'll have a left side mount, and then you'll have a left side hinge mount as well as a right side for the other mounts as well. So we'll start with our left side, side mount. We'll go ahead and remove all the hardware out of the mount itself. So once we have all the hardware removed, we're gonna wanna come right here to right before the cage makes a bend. So we wanna get this down as far as we can to the bend in the roll cage. We'll take our mount. We'll go ahead and grab our previously removed hardware, slide it through the bracket, and get it started into our side mount. I like to start one on the top, as well as one on the bottom. And we're just gonna hand tighten all of our hardware now. Obviously, we're still gonna have to rotate it and adjust it around. So I like just to kind of snug it up by hand. That way it stays in place. So now we're gonna grab the hinge mount. We'll go ahead and remove the hardware out of it as well. And then get it kind of laid up there onto the roll cage. We measured 17 inches from the bottom of this bracket. And we're gonna measure essentially from this side on this bracket to right here on this bracket. We should make sure that that is 17 inches. So now we're just gonna put this one in place. We're gonna line it up over here. We made a mark at the 17 inch mark there. So we'll just go ahead and get our screws started. We got it to where it'll move just a little bit. And we're just gonna come over to the opposite side and do the same exact thing. So next we're gonna go ahead and grab our crossbar and it's gonna slide right down in between our hinge mount. And then you'll grab your M10 Allen as well as a spacer. There'll be two, one for each bolt. And we're gonna line up this opposite side. Do the same exact thing. You wanna get your spacer installed as well as your bolt. Once we have one bolt started on either side, I like to just go ahead and slide a nut on them. And then make sure that we get both of our spacers in both sides as well as all four of our allen headed bolts. So now we want to go through and snug our hardware down just a little bit. So we just want to make sure it's not going to move around on us because if it starts to move around we're going to have some issues getting it installed. So we're going to snug our hardware on the bottom as well as on the top. We want to make sure that we're still lined up. So now we're gonna take the bed system here. And as you can see, we have these tabs on the back of it. We're gonna line those up with the brackets on the crossbar. And we're gonna line up our latches with the latches here. So 
So now we're just gonna look at it, see if it could latch where it's at. We're good and latched up here. Now what we need to do is grab this hardware out of the kit. Our M10 bolts as well as our sleeves, bushings, and nylock nuts. So what you're gonna wanna do is line your hole up in your cross brace to your rack where they line up together. Once it's lined up, you're gonna take your bushing Slide it through the hole. I want the reach on the inside back here. Get it slid in and then we'll take our sleeve, slide our sleeve in as well. Once the sleeve's in, you can take our bolt, slide it through, reach around, put our nut on the inside. Then we'll just go over to the opposite side and do the same exact thing. Now that we have the rack installed here, what we wanna do is sometimes if you don't get these tightened up enough, it's gonna rotate your brackets in down here where your latches are. That's what ours did. We just need to kind of pick this up for just a moment, kind of get these lined back up into place. And this one actually needs to go forward. So right there is perfect for this side. So we went ahead and fully tightened that side. It's good to go. Then we need to do about the same thing on this side over here. Then we're gonna go up front to the screws that we installed, the Allen headed ones, and we need to fully tighten them as well at this point, just to make sure once we tighten those up, everything's gonna stay aligned. Then we're gonna go ahead and tighten the hardware up on this side as well. Now we're just gonna go through and fully tighten all the hardware up to this point. And these right here, you wanna make sure you get them tight, but you don't wanna over tighten them. Cause that's just gonna make it so it's really hard on the struts to help you lift the rack up. Now you just wanna make sure that the faces of your hinges are parallel. So we're just gonna kinda look at it here. Ours look good on both sides. They look good and lined up. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our gas struts. So we'll go ahead and lift this up. As you can see, there's a hole right here. We're just gonna grab our nut and attach it. And then it'll attach up here as well. We'll repeat the same steps over here on this opposite side. Line this side up as well. So now you're just gonna test it. Once you have your struts on, make sure it's making good contact everywhere. Make sure it's latching good. Ours is latching great. Opens nice and easy. Um, it's all good to go. Now there's a couple things left to do. We have these panels here that we send in the kit as well as these covers. The cover needs to sit like this right here. So we will have to go ahead and remove these two screws. We'll go ahead and remove these. As long as you get it lined right back up with where it was, you're not gonna have any problems. Let's go ahead and sit it right there like that. Get your holes lined up. And obviously you wanna do one side at a time. Just kinda of pick up on it. Then confirm that it still latches good.
It's right there. We're latching good on this side. We're gonna come over here to the opposite side and repeat the same exact thing. We'll go ahead and latch it, then we'll go through, double check all our hardware one last time. Make sure it latches good and opens good. Looks like we're good to go. All right, so now we have these panels. And they'll sit just right along the edges here. So we'll take a bolt, drop it through, drop it through. there as well. Take our nuts, start them on the bottom. Then once we have them all good and started, we can just go through, fully tighten all of them. I ran mine up by hand so it doesn't really take much to tighten them here. So once you've went through, fully tightened all your hardware, checked everything out, made sure that your cargo system is functioning as it should, that's all there is to it to install Super ATV's cargo system on this Polaris Razor Pro XP. For more information on this cargo system or any of Super ATV's great products, feel free to give us a call at 855-743-3427 or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.